Happy New Year again! So, <clears throat> I got a spot. I've been deep, deep, deep in ritual space still. And so, I'm gonna do some conscious journaling with you. And I wanna show you my awesome outfit. So, um, if you've been following me or if you're new to following me, um, you know, I dress with intention every day. And so, I wanna tell you about this. This jacket I got at a thrift store. It's a really awesome designer, um, comfy, has like a satin inside. Green is my favorite color if you really knew me. And look at the backing of it. It's gorgeous. And it has like this other, it has like zipper pockets. And it has this beautiful embroidery. It's just gorgeous and comfortable. Okay, next, you ready? This flannel, look at it. It's bright and gorgeous. So I shop at thrift stores a lot. I like, I like really quality clothing, like designer, like really quality clothing. I'm a bit of a snob about my products. I like quality products. Um, if you really knew me, you know a lot of things I own are pretty expensive. Um, and some things I've paid full price. And a lot of things I got at thrift stores. Mm. So, my piercing stuff. So, this flannel is awesome. And I'm going to take it all in. Boom. It's so comfortable and soft, too. Then, what do you see? Oh, my God. Are you ready? This is, like, they're, like, jegging suspenders. Farmer jean, tight, stretchy, sexy. And how do I want to show them to you? Mmm, the song is perfect. See these sexy farmer jeans? Mm. They have pockets on the butt and the straps. Oh, and look at my awesome socks. I have a zebra and then I have Christmas lights. And let me make sure I'm in there. Okay. And so when I was a teen, I wore these a lot. I used to have um, a pair of Powerpuff Girl suspenders. Uh, pants. I loved my Powerpuff Girl suspenders. They were sparkly and look at this. This has pockets and it like buttons up right here. They're tight as well as um, I'm going to make sure I don't get camel toe because <laughs> they're so tight. It's stretchy and so um, there's a belt loops here. When I was a teen I always had one strap hanging down because I was a badass. And so, but today I really feel like wearing both. Um, but I'm gonna show you my shirt, so I'm gonna take off both straps. We got one down already. How sexy can taking suspender straps down be? It's so easy to be sexy. Hmm, and you let yourself just be and enjoy. And then underneath this shirt is so soft and comfy and pretty. And it, oh, I love the colors. I love the sparkles. I love the way it fits me. And then this is a beautiful jade piece I bought recently. And that beautiful fairy that was staying here with her beloved partner, Jade. I don't know if you remember Jade and Brandon, they were here and doing some events with me and stuff for a little bit. And if you don't know, you could come stay at the temple for a few days and help out and, you know, do things. So anyways, Jade um, wrapped this piece of jade for me. And then I have a shark tooth I just found 
I'm excited to wear. <sighs> and uh, my awesome makeup. You know, I am blind and I'm just really proud that I'm doing my makeup again and having fun and letting go and you know, I don't really know what it looks like. What I can see and what my friends tell me is that I do a really good job for a blind girl. Like, you know, it's pretty amazing that I'm able to do my makeup as blind as I am. Am I in there? Yeah. See, look at all my pretty makeup. I got sparkles. And I have lime green mascara. I even did my eyebrows all different colors and my lips all different colors. I have at least seven different colors on my face. Like, seriously. That's how I do my face every day. It's so fun. <laughs> Alright. So, sacred journaling. Look at this amazing journal. Chikatella, Chikatella, Chikatella. Look up Chikatella on Instagram. Chikatella makes these handmade leather bound journals and they have lockets on them. And you see that? And it opens. And inside is this soft Persian paper. It's gorgeous. And then when you run out, you just contact Chikatella and they will, I think, I don't know if you send it back and they rebind it for you or whatever. But um, yeah. So they're lifetime journals. Take a look. It has this gorgeous tree on it. I got one from my ex Daniel as well. A beautiful one um, with like a, a mask on it. And so when I first bought this, the only thing I allowed myself to write in it was um, statements of affirmations, things I wanted. And I didn't allow myself to just like flow like you would in a diary like I do in these videos. And then I started changing and letting myself just flow. But, you know, it was really cool at first where the, the whole beginning of this book is just I am statements. I have, I am, I have, I am, I have. I Like all beautiful, positive, empowering, highly intentional statements. And um, so as a blind person, I use special pens to make sure I can see. And I was struggling to find one. And you gotta have one that doesn't bleed through. And I don't know if this is one of the ones that doesn't bleed, hold on. If it isn't, I may have to just give in and write with a pen I can't see. All right, there's that side. Yay, no bleeding, oh wait. I don't know if there's bleeding, so I'm going to grab another piece of paper and put it in between. Oh, I have fabric. I know I need to grab paper. Watch. Do, do, do. And now, no bleeding. And I can write. And today I am going to choose to just write statements of affirmation. I am, I have... Um, not I will or I want. No statements that are in like past or future tense, but all present tense affirmations. Okay, now that's on that side, now I write on that side. Okay, <laughs> it took me a minute to get that together. So, for me, in my new year, I'm celebrating love. So, I am writing it in big, bold letters so I can see it because there's something in the power of visualization. Even though I'm blind, I'm a visual learner, so I like seeing things. Come on, Onyx. She's down there freaking out. I am love. Love is me. Love 
is. It just simply is. I am surrounded by love at all times. this page. I want to write a little bit more love. But I'm going to do it on my own. I'm going to say goodbye to you guys and do some more on my own. Um, but So that is my journaling practice. And to say goodbye, I'm going to give you a sensual dance and remove this shirt because I have a bra underneath. Mm. So, in this goodbye, I am also going to put out another request for help. Please help me in the temple. I need technical support and domestic cleaning support. Transportation support, mm, body work support, and I'm looking to meet new people and date and build relationships and go out and explore San Diego and be free and beyond San Diego. I want to go on some adventures and travel. But I'm blind now, and it's really scary for me to leave the house. And so I'm looking for friends, safe travel buddies, to help me in learning and reestablishing my sense of safety in the world again as a blind person. Yeah, I'm in a really needy place in life right now. I need a lot of support. And it won't always be this way. Because eventually I'll have a lot of it more figured out and I'll know how to be blind. But right now it's new and I don't know how to be blind. And so I need help. I'm going to give you my sad puppy dog eyes. Help me please. If in the new year you were looking for something to do, to show up in service. I have some things for you. Or maybe you were looking to get more involved in community. Or if you wanted to learn or heal or grow or get to know me, you know, we could hang out and run errands. And uh, if you're kinky and submissive, if you really knew me, you know I'm also a sacred dominant. I'm a tantric divinatrix, so I'm also seeking sacred servants, submissives, those who genuinely love to serve, genuinely love me and see the goddess in me and want to make my life easy. If you really knew me, you know I had a submissive for eight years. I'm a lifestyler. I do all this. It's my life. And so I had a submissive for eight years that I had to fire because they just stopped serving. And it was really hard. So there was a lot of love between us. But the relationship wasn't serving me anymore. 
the whole point of the relationship was for them to serve me. And I had to chase them, and it wasn't fun. So, what I'm looking for in a secret sub or servant is very special. And you have to be available and really desire to want to help and make my life easy and make that a priority in your life. I love you. And also, I dawn with love. And I am a sadist. Yeah. But my sadism comes with love too. And that's why I call myself a divinatrix because I dominate from the divine. Mm. Yes, come and get some.